Well, I got a side of beef today, which is very exciting. Um, and everything's in the freezer other than some bones. Uh, I got all the bones uh, cut up. The book did that for me, which was super sweet. And uh, this is actually only five of nine bags that I've got. Uh, and I'm going to make some bone broth. Um, so the first step here is to take these bones, get them on baking sheets, and um, salt and pepper, a little olive oil over them, and then throw them in the oven at 400 degrees, and you're going to wind up with something kind of like that. Nice, roasted, tons of flavor going on. So these ones are ready. I'm going to pull those out and get the, uh, the second round here into the oven. So that's step one. So these bones come out beautiful, roasted, lots of flavor going on there. I'm going to throw in the second round here, and with these ones I'm also tossing on um, all the onions and some of the carrots here as well, just so they can kind of crisp up and get lots of fun Maillard reactions going on here as well. And once these are all done, um, I'm going to try and find a way to get them packed into the fridge overnight so that tomorrow first thing I can get going on a really nice long uh, simmer. All right, well, it's time to actually get these uh, bones going here. So I'm going to be using my 20-gallon uh, stainless brewing pot for this uh, with the false bottom in there because that way I'll actually be able to hopefully mostly strain all the large chunks out uh, once I'm done with a little bit of greater ease rather than having to scoop them all out. So I've got a little bit of water in here. I'm just going to keep topping up water and get all the bones and all the veggies and stuff in here. All right, well whole lot of bones ready to go in here. Um, water's heating up. I'm just going to get these in and scrape everything into there and uh, oh yeah, I need two hands for that. Alright, so this is a lot of uh, volume here, which is beautiful. We're sitting around probably 71 or 72 liters uh, in here in total. That, of course, that includes the displacement with the bones. So anyway, uh, I'm just going to let this keep heating up. It's already fairly warm, but I want to get that to um, a really, uh, really solid uh, simmer, kind of like a, a boil light, and then uh, let it sit here for a lot of hours. I also have a little extra veg to go in here, just a little bit of extra carrots, and uh, this is two whole uh, heads of uh, ce uh, celery, and then I've got some parsley and oregano from the garden. Okay, so now we're just waiting for this to heat up to uh, somewhere between a nice, uh, a nice simmer and uh, just the very beginnings of a boil. Um, I've got, this is sitting, this is a lot of stuff in here. It's around 73 liters, uh, including all of, the, uh, all of the vegetables and bones, but it's at least 16, uh, or yeah, it's at least four gallons of, uh, of liquid in here right now. Oh yeah, that's looking nice and rich. It is time to flame off here. So another uh, awesome part of using the uh, the boil kettle here for this um, is that because of the uh, the false bottom in there, I can just strain off and run through here and then just use this uh, little mesh strainer here just to catch any finer particulate. So I'm just gonna run all of this off here. Um, yeah, and then I can start to actually get this in jars. So this saw about 16 hours of uh, nice hot simmering here. And um, yeah, it's looking absolutely amazing. So this process of straining works really quite well. I cut it off right kind of near the end so I don't actually have too much of a fat layer on here. So I'm not going to bother to skim just because, uh, yeah, it's not a huge um, proportion of what I've got here. So now it's just time to get this into mason jars. So I've been processing these jars here. Got uh, a bunch of one liters and those I'm doing for 25 minutes at 12 pounds of pressure and that's based on my elevation. I've also got some 250 mil jars here and I'm doing those at 15 minutes. And I just have one batch left to go so we'll see what uh, they look like after everything's done and cooled down. So in the end I got quite a few liters of this uh, beef bone broth and I'm very excited about that. I've used some of it already in stews, in soups, in gravies. Uh, tonight I'm going to be adding some to the beef in a shepherd's pie which is uh, going to make it extremely tasty. So yeah, really quite easy to make, um, relatively inexpensive especially if you can get your hands on a bunch of free bones. And yeah, so hope you uh, give this a whirl at some point and until next time, keep it at 11.